how to use digital wallet on wells fargo hi everyone welcome back to our channel help deck in today's video i will guide you on how you can actually use digital wallet on wells fargo so make sure to watch the video till the end in order to actually go ahead and use digital wallet for example first we'll discuss apple wallet then we will discuss google pay right so if you're using on iphone what you want to do is first of all go ahead and then try to log into your wells fargo mobile account then once you do that what you want to do is just come to the menu icon from the bottom right hand side of the screen once you come to the menu icon at the very top you'll find the option called card settings so you just just want to make sure to tap on that option when you go to card settings you'll find the option called digital wallet right so basically you want to tap on digital wallet so over here you can find the option called apple pay and all you have to do is just tap on apple pay if you're using on iphone and if you're using on android you have to select google pay so basically just tap on that option and when you tap on that option over here you'll find other options to select which card you, you would like to add in so just tap on this little add to apple wallet button then after you do that on the next specific page it will ask you to leave the wells fargo account so you can just tap on the continue button and and then as you do that on the next specific page it'll ask you to simply sign into your apple pay account so go ahead and log into your apple id enter the name and then enter the card number then tap on the next button from the top right agree to the terms and conditions tap and agree now if you want you can also set this as your default card in the wallet tab so just tap and use this default card if you want and now you can see you've successfully set up your digital wallet on the wells fargo mobile app that's all it takes to set up digital wallet on wells fargo mobile app for iphone users we hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any more questions feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you in the next video